Okay, are you Beth? Yeah. Walk around Elliott Park in Minneapolis with me? Let's do it. Grew up in Buffalo, so close okay. to here. Live in Alexandria Hi. now with my husband and son, Cooper. <laughs> a website designer and photographer and children's book author. Oh, how old are how you? Old are you? Whoa, three, three, almost. <gasps> and I got engaged in January of 2019, and like 36 hours later, I found out I was pregnant. Wow. And we got back to Minneapolis from our Florida vacation. Okay. And then Coop was born in September of 2019, diagnosed as being deaf when he was six weeks old. We, we pretty much knew before that, but that's when it was like yeah. official. Diagnosed as Wardenburg syndrome, which is really mm -hmm. that's the biggest component mm -hmm. of it. I had never really been, you know, around anybody that was deaf. Um, didn't know anything about like cochlear implants and hearing aids and so Cooper. I always have been like knowledge is power and I like to know as much as I can about what I'm getting into with things. Yeah. And so it was a lot of researching and connecting with families, um, thank God for social media. Yes. That's I able to connect with like real people versus, you know, just reading things online. Yeah. And that made a huge difference just in feeling like, okay, we can do this and he'll have, you know, quote unquote, a normal yeah. life. Hi! You Having fun? Sign language. <laughs> yeah. We've used it since he was okay. little. Um, it's not his preference by any mm. means. He just likes to talk. He's really mm. social. And he understands a lot of it though. And that's really helpful when he doesn't have his implants on. Say hi natural thing like to start writing writing was really always an outlet mm. for me and sharing yeah. and so when the pandemic hit is when I hopped on TikTok like a lot of people mm. I had no idea what I was doing and started just kind of like you know making videos and sharing about Wardenburg syndrome and his diagnosis and they just kind of started taking off and I didn't really realize that was not super typical yeah. <laughs> my sister was like uh that's a lot that's a lot of views yeah um and I was like, oh. So yeah, it just was obvious that people were interested and wanted to be educated um, about cochlear implants and sign language. And so that's where it really started. Um, and then it was kind of a natural transition over to sharing on Instagram too. Mm -hmm. And you know, now kind of all of the platforms. Yeah. I had written like a nonfiction book kind of for parents of kids with hearing loss and who are deaf, yeah. um, just about our journey and everything. I wanted to be able to kind of appeal to an audience that was wider than just parents of kids with hearing loss because Obviously, like that's that's important to me, and that's like my, you know, main audience to an extent. But I had also got, started kind of realizing that a lot of people that followed were just parents of kids with special needs or different diagnoses in general. <laughs> a different kind of walk. Yeah, no, that's fine. So how can I kind of write something that whew, appeals to, or not appeals, but like relates to every? Okay, <laughs> relates to all of that. Um, and I had this idea, like, okay, we've met all these families along the way with different kids. Why not do like an ABCs book where each letter is a different child's mm. name? I wanted it to be like person first uh, diagnosis or versus the diagnosis. Yeah. Um, so like C's for Cooper, and then it talks oh. about like being deaf and having cochlear oh. implants and sign language. And so every letter is based on a real child, um, whether we knew them in real life or it was somebody that I met on social media or a friend of a friend. And so that's been really cool. And the illustrations are all based off their actual pictures, and it talks. Um, so there's things in there like you know anxiety and cerebral palsy, um, hydrocephalus, like just a big range of topics. I mean, I sold out of 9,000 copies almost oh, right away. Oh, that's amazing. So uh, the second, or the third perk round, I guess, is should be back in stock in the beginning of the fall. Um, so it's been, yeah, it's been really good. I've heard a lot from like educators and teachers that they've loved having it in the classroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the book, and then yeah, like the social media, um, some of the content creation, and obviously some of that is like partnerships. Yep. Um, and so that was something that I never really anticipated, <laughs> but it's been cool to yeah. be able to do that and like find companies that align with you know, yeah. my value. And, go? Okay, go. Oh my gosh, you're doing such a job. I think sometimes people don't necessarily see the full picture, and it seems like you know he's always happy and having uh, fun, and like so it's yeah. important to me to balance like. Note that too, like he's a very, very normal, almost four year old. Like, yeah. <laughs> he yells at me and. Take a bath! What? Take a bath? <laughs> Is that what you said? <laughs> Slow kind of person. Like, you're trying? <laughs> he's just not a kid that you can really, like, organize yeah. anything around or, like, plan for. Mm -hmm. Like, I just gotta go with it. It's, yeah. It's Beth and Coop on everything, and <laughs> I'm not a single mom. People look at my stuff sometimes and think that my husband's just a little more low key. Well, thanks, guys, for joining me on my walk today. Yes. Can you say thank you? <laughs> I got one. <laughs> you got one.